show you briefly here the performance uh, of uh, Office 2007. This one's on vPro with Core 2 Duo. And over here we've got a previously uh, higher speed Pentium 4 670. I'll kick off the two uh, the, uh, benchmarks. And uh, this is running, basically putting Office 2007 through a, through a stress test. Uh, it's a multitasking benchmark essentially. And uh, on, the, uh, on, on your right hand side we have the uh, Core 2 Duo, which has just finished the benchmark in 12.6 seconds. And on the left hand side uh, we have the previous uh, high, high performance mark on the Pentium 4. Uh, it's taking pretty substantially longer. Uh, actually, one of the things about uh, the, uh, uh, some of the characteristics of Office 2007 is the floating point usage, and Cortin Duo is a big step ahead uh, in floating point. Uh, also next to it, uh, we have uh, Cortin Duo inside of the uh, server product. Uh, what we have here is the um, recently introduced Xeon server line. And you're seeing the benchmarks here on the product that was codenamed Woodcrest. Very substantial performance improvement over Dempsey, Irwindale, and uh, Nakona. And over the period of time since this has been introduced, we're seeing very, very strong demand for the product. And we think this is going to have a big role in uh, internet infrastructure and uh, next generation server infrastructure. Okay, so uh, there is the architecture inside of servers, here it is inside of business desktops. Now let's take a look at it inside of an entertainment applications. And so this is kind of going to be new types of entertainment applications. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get some help from some real professional <coughs> people on gaming. And um, you know, this being a new era, I think we're going to introduce kind of some new era gamers and I'd like to introduce uh, Roulette and Jinx from the Frag Girls. Come on up. Jinx. So Frag and Doll are not normally two words that go together, right? No. So tell us about the Frag Girls. The Frag Girls are a group of girl gamers. There's seven of us. Um, we played professionally in South Wales together, and we get to come and play the most kick-butt games. Professional gamers. Professional gamers. So you get to spend your time in games. Yes. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that sounds pretty good. So tell us about the particular game you have here. All right. So Jinx is going to be showing us Dark Messiah, which is a game that's not out yet. So um, we're running a next generation game on some of the next generation hardware. It looks gorgeous. Um, it is on a Half-Life 2 engine, so it's running some of the most advanced physics um, and the most advanced graphics. It looks great. We're going to have her take on Cyclops. The Cyclops is he's a giant. He's this big, big creature. We get to see it. It's going to be an epic battle. And she fits this little David and Goliath type of thing. Um, I guess you call the Cyclops a kind of single core monster, right? <laughs> So you've got, you like the machine? We're spoiled, actually. Yeah. We're spoiled, okay. <laughs> we're going to be able to go back and find it normal. Well, do you think we should let them keep it? Keep the machine? Yeah. Okay, but if, in order to keep it, I think you're going to kill the bad dude, right? Jinx. Jinx, can you, can you, you get rid of this guy? Right, <laughs> Let's do it. Take him out. Alright. Uh, okay. okay, so there's a trap that she just, that she just released. And if he's dumb enough to go in there, which he's weak for, so hopefully he's dumb enough. Oh, oh, no, there you go, okay. 
Now the weakness for Cyclops is the eye. She has to get the eye. Go, go, go. Can you get it? 